Good afternoon. My name is Jalen Crafton. For my research, I did Takarazuka Theater. Takarazuka Revue from the French word for Revue. And I just wanted to talk about it and expose other people to it. Because when we think of a theater, a theater troupe that only has one gender, we mainly think of just men. Because women have almost always historically been excluded from theater practices like Shakespearean, Jacobian, Elizabethan. Kabuki did have women in it, but they were banned for being too erotic. So yeah. <laughs> so what is Takarazuka Revu and why is it so special? So like I said before, it's an all-women musical theater that comes from Takarazuka in Hyogo Prefecture, Japan. It's named after the city that it was uh, established in. Uh, Kabuki theater and no theater did not include women in their performances. And as aforementioned, women were in Kabuki before they were banned. <laughs> Even outside of Japan, women were not included in Shakespearean, Shakespearean Elizabethan, or the Renaissance, English Renaissance theater. The when and the why and the how. So it was created in 1913 by Japanese industrialist Ichizo Kobayashi as a tourist trap to bring more people uh, to boost the train sales in the prefecture. Uh, fun fact, everyone who is employed by Takarazuka Revu are technically documented as employees of the railway because uh, Kobayashi also discovered said rail railway, and they are contracted by the railway to perform. I'll go more into depth about it in CSA Day. There's just so much uh, that I don't think I could fit under three minutes without going on a tangent. <laughs> so it used an all-women's cast as a novelty to set it apart from Kabuki. Uh, Western Western musicals were becoming becoming popular around the 1900s, especially in Japan. So it was more of an, a novelty and a tourist trap to bring people to an already populated area. Um, fun, fact, fun fact, in Takarazuka there's hot springs, so you can watch a, a whole theater live performance of women while you relax in hot tub. That's all I have for now for this more general presentation. There will be more stuff on CSA Day as I go into depth about the gender dynamics of Takarazuka Revu and how they train for a male role and a female role. I'm Jayden Crafton and this was my presentation, my short presentation, the abridged version.